Sub-Saharan Africa has the world's largest free trade area with 1.2 billion person markets. Many countries on the continent are seeking to make trade in goods and services cheaper, quicker and more efficient. However, complex time consuming and inefficient import and export procedures constitute a major barrier to trade and hamper development, especially for low and middle income countries. Joining me to discuss this is Mr. Salami Alashua. Alashua Dua, President of West African Association for Cross-Border Trade. Uh, hello, Mr. Alashua Dua. Um, it's good to have you on the program. Hello, good morning. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, How are sir. You? Very well, sir. How are you doing today? Uh, we are trying to survive. How are okay. you, madam? Great, sir. Now, can you speak on specific challenges hindering cross-border trade in Africa, especially Sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, I have to thank you for giving me the opportunity. Uh, let, let me make a, a few presentations first. When we talk about uh, cross-border trade, we have to talk about uh, trade corridors. In the southwest, we have about three states. That is Labor State, Ogun State, and Oyo State. In the north central, we have uh, Kwara and the uh, Nanja State. In the northwest, we have KB, we have Sokoto, we have Katina, we have Jigawa. In the north uh, east, we have Yobe, Borno, Adamawa, Saraba. On the south south, we have Akwa Ibon and Kot River State. So can you be the state, the Shia border with Nigerian neighboring country where we are having cross-border trade. When so we are talking about the challenges, okay, sir. Uh, the challenges, first of all, we can talk about uh, policy. We don't have stable policy in West Africa, uh, in general in Africa. Sometimes uh, in the middle of the road, they will say this one is done, this one is leave. So those policies are killing our cross-border trade. We have lack of uh, trailer park, uh, lack of custom bonded warehouse, lack of electricity. Those are the problems we are facing in the area of uh, challenges. We have what we call custom connectivity. The custom connectivity between the command and the station. Most of our borders, we don't have custom connectivity from the command to the, the to the station. Those are the problems sure. we are having. Uh, like I was saying, it the ECOWAS protocol say that when you have, you can uh, let us say you have 200 tons of cargo, you generate 200 of ton of cargo, you need to have a trailer park. That is what ECOWAS policy is. Is it, is it like that in West Africa? No. Thank so you, Mr. These Salami. Are the challenges we are Thank facing you. along our corridors. Okay, sir. So. Again, no connect, no custom, proper custom connectivity between the commands. Only Lagos commands. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Salami. Mr. Salami, Alasha, do I think we. Commands are 